What's up, guys? Hey, uh, I'm so happy, first of all, that you are in a small group this week. Uh, we say all the time that, that circles are better than rows, and we actually believe that because there's something about life on life uh, that, that just produces so much change in us, and like encouragement and uh, faith. We, we borrow faith from others, and, and we hear other people's story about how God's working in their lives, and that gives us faith uh, that he can, what he can do for them, He can do for us. And it's just encouraging. It's just encouraging to get with some brothers and sisters and just spiritual family, be around a table and just eat some guacamole together and just talk about the Lord. It's just, it's, it's the, it is the good stuff. So I'm proud of you for taking this step. Uh, you know, we've been in this series called Change My Mind and uh, it's all about our thought life. It's all about how God can actually change our minds, that He can bring transformation in our lives from the inside out, that we can actually renew our minds, that we can think different thoughts that lead to a different life, uh, that leads to different feelings and leads to different behaviors because we actually re rewire our brains. It's really it's really powerful, right, that, that we could do that, that there is something we can do. In fact, today we talked about God's answer for anxiety. And uh, I think it, it was so pertinent to so many people because we have so much to be anxious about. Like there are so many struggles in life and so many unknowns and what ifs of fear and just question marks and uh, things that we worry about, things that we're nervous about, concerned about and, and you know, stress in the mind affects the body. And so there's all these chronic illnesses and, you know, like migraines and stomach ulcers and ways that we're being affected. We can't sleep at night. There's brain fog. Uh, you know, we can't remember things we should remember and all that comes back to the anxiety in our hearts. It's that concern out of control. And as we're talking about that, I think the Lord was doing something special in the room and hopefully he's doing something special in you this week as you listen to the message and think about the message. Because I think we all want, we all want the microwave miracle, don't we? We all want God to just no more anxiety or like, you know, no more hurts and hangups. But God's more of a crock pot God. <laughs> And he, he invites us into relationship, right? We want him to fix it and bring resolution. And God says, I want relationship. I want you to be with me, abide in me, and I'll produce character. I'll produce fruit of the spirit. I will do something in and through your life that you can't even imagine if you will just, uh, if you will just make me a priority. And so as we're talking about that, I think one of the things we said is that, uh, you know, anxiety is concern out of control, right? Uh, where it's not just that you have concerns, it's that your concerns control you. So I, I wonder what is that, that, that sticking point for you in your life where, where God's having to help you uh, be reminded that He's in control and hand over control to Him. Cast your cares on the Lord, He will care for you. For you. And, and understand though that while it's out of your control, there are still things you can control. There are still things you can do. There are steps you can take. Uh, there are practical things that you can do uh, to to remedy anxiety in your life. And God can help you do that. At the end of the message, we talked about three things, right? Peace is a weapon, right? First of all, peace is possible. It's gonna require participation, but it is possible. Faith should rise in your heart that it can happen. And we talked about how peace is God sustained. It's abiding, it's in prayer. It's a consecrated place of prayer. And then peace is a weapon that we use against the enemy. He said. The peace of God guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That's a cool imagery, like the soldier standing guard, that God is fighting for you to have peace. You're not alone in that, that's powerful. But but how do we use the weapon, right? We, we speak peace, right? Where can you speak peace in your life? We think peace. How can you organize your life in such a way that you think about God more, that you think about the, uh, the things of God and the word of God and you change your thoughts, right? Perfect peace happens. And, and then we talked about living that peace, right? Living it out and, um, and walking in it. How do you do that, right? Um, here's the question I wanna ask you, and this is what you can talk about in your groups. Um, what did God say to you? What is the Holy Spirit saying to you through this message? And I want you to just share that. That's just that's something powerful we can do and just say, this is what God's saying to me. This is what's applicable to me. And then not only did what God say to you, but what does he want you to do? What's your next step? What is your practical step of how you can live out and uh, pursue the peace of God in your life? And I believe it's gonna happen. I believe peace is possible. So let's keep going after God together.